What's up you guys? So, today's kind of a little bit of a blizzard. It's uh, finally some winter-like weather here in Colorado after a long hiatus. And uh, we're gonna go watch the mini singers. Basically, it's like the little kids at the elementary school, they go caroling through town. <laughs> they carol through town and uh, rain or shine. That's what I love about mountain kids, they're tough. So we're gonna go up to Granby Play Days and see Annie, and then after that, we'll go to Java Lava and watch Amelia. Making spirits bright. What fun it is to Hey guys, what is up? We are back at sewer plant. Um, I have literally like 6,000 projects going on right now, working on getting a Mustang, doing some work to it, this conveyor belt, doing some work to it, um, lots of stuff over here happening. I got this, this big snow bucket here, um, it's a, uh, this crusty, that crusty wear plate lived along here. And the wear plate wore out, so I spent today, well part of today, cutting it off with the plasma cutter set to arc gouge. I got the new wear plate here and got a few repairs to make, a few things to tidy up on there, and that'll be ready to go tomorrow. But I wanna try something, I wanna try something. I picked up an old microwave, well I picked up a couple old microwaves, but I got this old microwave um, I've always wanted to try uh, to disable hard drives dun, 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 using a microwave. You see it in all the movies. Oh my gosh, the cabal is coming. They found our black site. Quick. They grab their hard drives. They open up the microwaves. They throw them in. They turn them on. And apparently that destroys the data. Now, I don't think it will. Um, Main reason being, uh, the hard drive is encased in a metal cover, which in my opinion would act like a Faraday cage, protecting the drive inside, the discs inside, but we're gonna find out. Now, I have to apologize because this microwave doesn't have an interior light. So, hopefully we can see what happens without a light, otherwise I got a backup plan. One hard drive coming right up. Well, we've got us one very warm, but incredibly intact hard drive. The smell of ozone. Great. We'll have to open it up and see what kind of damage is done.
in mostly great shape. All right, there is one step that I'm fairly confident is going to be the end all solution for this particular hard drive. Plasma cutter! And this has my art gouge tip on it. So it won't cut, it's just gonna gouge. That did a number. Yeah, it did. Well, folks, this is aluminum and uh, plasma cutters and aluminum don't necessarily play so well together. So it didn't do such a great job. However, when it comes to data destruction, I think I've got my bases covered. All right, here we go. I got the rosebud tip. I think this is the final solution, okay? Raymond Reddington, you're not gonna be able to get any data off this whatsoever. That's just, uh, I guess that's two methods, two ways you can try and destroy a hard drive. Um, ooh, nice. So these are made out of aluminum. Aluminum has very, very, very impressive heat dissipating qualities. So it's not like steel where you can get it nice and red hot and just let it sit there. Like aluminum acts weird, but I don't think Mr. Reddington's gonna be getting our data anytime soon off of that. Neither will the Cabal. Well, come to speak of it, neither will Homeland Security. hi -oh! Okay, you guys. So, I'm pretty excited because right now we're going to learn how to possibly totally destroy a hard drive with minimal effort using our friend El Fuego, Spanish for fighting chicken, to do all the work for us. Anyway, we're in my shop with, dum da da dum my forge! We're going to see, we're gonna see how quickly it takes for this uh, hard drive to become unoperable.
That's total destruction. Oh, so, so creamy. Ooh, it's hot. Wow, a lot of heat. Let's get some light in there so you can see a little better maybe. Oh, it's pretty much, uh, I'd say fully destroyed. Woo! Eh, that's bright light. But I'd say that that hard drive is inoperable and no one can get any data off of it whatsoever. Aren't you guys really excited about this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Controller. Microwave. Wiring harness and associated control panel. That's for your microwave. No, this is for my mower build. The piece de resistance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this stuff. This is cool. This is big. This is bad to the bone. Mm hmm. This is exciting, folks. Yeah, it's the C pillar four bolts and the four bolts and the B pillar. I, it's my birthday. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah. <laughs> To me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. me. Alright you guys, I'm going to eat this pie, so thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you around like a donut.